German called Toastmasters. Looking around this room, I see a little slice of America. Different backgrounds, different accents, different origins. Each one of us has a unique story on how we came to this country, or maybe how our ancestors made their way here. Mine is a story of, of a, an accidental immigrant, and I'd like to share it with you today. In turn, I hope you get to know something about me, which is the purpose of this speech. Let me first explain how I ended up coming to America. One day, I um, came back from high school as junior at age 17 to see my father sitting at a desk with a man who owned an agency for sending foreign students to the United States on exchange. Out of the blue, my dad said, son, how would you like to go to America to finish your senior year as an exchange student? Now I was baffled. Um, should I give up the comforts of a mostly decent teenager life to step into something completely unknown? Unlike many other people who were forced to leave their homeland due to economic or safety reasons, I had none of those concerns. I still decided to do it, and unbeknownst to me or my parents at the time, uh, this was my best decision of my life. Coming over here defined me as someone who would take calculated risks, which I ended up doing later on in life as well. I arrived to California in August of 1991 with a plan to just finish my senior year of high school, learn some English, and then head back home to go to college. As, you, as some of you may know, an adjustment to the life in a foreign country is never easy. Um, although I had an American host family that was very nice to me, it still wasn't my family. Additionally, I um, was a new kid in school. I had no friends and uh, barely spoke English. I discovered what culture shock meant. Then all of a sudden, shortly after my arrival, my country at the time called Yugoslavia began to, began to disintegrate into a horrible civil war. And this just added to the burden. My parents lost most of their business and their savings over, almost overnight. And in turn, I had to sort of grow up almost overnight. As the time went on, I started to fit in and actually started to enjoy my life as an exchange student. In the meantime, I knew much that, that my family was at least safe from the <coughs> excuse me, physical harm. As my return home was nearing, uh, I got a phone call from my parents who basically told me not to get on that plane and go back uh, because it wouldn't be safe. My mom was pretty much crying on the phone saying, um, everybody's getting drafted, your age, it's very dangerous, uh, just figure out a way to stay there, go to college or something. But how did I go to college with no money? As a foreigner, I couldn't even get a loan. So I scrambled and I figured out a way, a last minute way, into a junior college in St. George, Utah, where my best friend ended up going on his father's insistence. So we're moving up to college, and uh, he had a big Chevy Suburban loaded with stuff when the car caught fire on its own <laughs> exhaust and burned to the ground, together with my two soul so my two suitcases of sole possessions. So here I was in college with literally no money, no clothes, no passport, not even a wallet. I had a t-shirt and a shorts and two hands in, in empty pockets. How's that for a start? Although from the outside things might have looked bleak, I figured things would just work out and this would just be another experience. I ended up cruising through my freshman year of college uh, while somehow supporting myself and covered all my expenses while getting some tuition breaks. Once the freshman year was over, I moved back to LA to finish my sophomore year in another junior college. Then for the next two years, I moved up to Oregon to get my undergraduate degree at a small college which did not have uh, a tuition for foreign students. From Oregon, I moved to South Carolina to get my graduate degree at Clemson University. Uh, when they accepted me for an MBA program, they offered me an assistantship, and as part of that, I got to run the student newspaper, get paid to it together with a free tuition. By now, you know that this would be an offer I could not refuse. One great thing about being poor in college was that by the time I was all done, I had zero debt. So from then on, for the next six years, I worked for a consulting firm and then moved around some more, and then three and a half years ago, I came back to California, uh, to join Countrywide. 
Not too long ago, I became a U.S. citizen, and just recently I got married. Altogether, I lived in seven different states since I came here. I don't believe that my experience is any more tough than those of millions of other immigrants. Uh, in fact, I consider myself more lucky than smart to have made the choice to the many. However, through my own experience, I also learned that we should take steps into unknown at a time when benefits greatly exceed the risks, uh, especially when the risk is simply giving up something you're comfortable or used to. By staying put, we may miss some incredible opportunities. And what's more, by, by reaping the rewards of going outside of our comfort zone, we actually become more confident in ourselves and can live more fulfilling lives. I will leave you with that thought and hope that you get to know something about me today. Thank you.